in the space of one month, Bitcoin has lost 20% of its value and then gone back up by another 25%. It's crazy. This is exactly why I don't trade Bitcoin. Hi guys, it's Eni, aka The Not Trader, your friendly neighborhood swing trader, back again with another video. Remember to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and hit that alert button to get alerts on all my latest videos. I've got Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at The Not Trader on all social media platforms. And if you check that description section below, you'll see a link to my mailing list um, and my Discord group called Pip Talks, which is a chat room for like minded traders and investors. Join both of these in the link below in the description section. So I haven't done a Bitcoin video in quite some time, uh, so I thought I'd just do one because of all the craziness going on in the market right now. So if you've seen some of my other videos on Bitcoin, you see that I've been following this triangle pattern for some time on the daily chart. I saw that there was like a, a triangle pattern forming and it looked like it was going to sell off and it did sell off around uh, end of September. And this sell off was quite, quite important because it broke out of this pattern and within six days it, it lost 20% of its value it gone from about 10,100 to about 7,800 this is quite ridiculous and from there I didn't really have any real kind of um, technical analysis I could do on it because I wasn't sure what Bitcoin could do the only thing of significance was that um, price had dropped below the 180 day simple moving average which is not normally a sign of a um, bearish market what happened on Friday was something I, I couldn't have expected but this is kind of this is kind of butchers my point of as to why I don't trade Bitcoin because as much as technical analysis does have some relevance sometimes it's still all about demand and supply any sort of news or market manipulation by some whales can can really move the market because it's not as liquid as people may think it is it, a lot of small players can make big moves and and really shift the price of uh, Bitcoin and this is what happened here price went up 27% in two days so over on Friday the 25th of October which is a couple days ago which is uh, yesterday actually uh, Bitcoin yes spiked up and it had nothing to do with technicals nothing got all to do with technicals as you can see here this is kind of a bit of a well I, I really had no analysis to make of this because pattern it looked like it was selling off up until that point now if you see this little line here it looked like price was going to continue going down and then all of a sudden it made a change of direction and shot up. Now this was attributed to some news. Well, people are speculating it's attributed to some news. So I'm going to show you some article right now about Bitcoin and um, why this spike might have occurred. So yeah, this is an article by the Forbes and they're just going over that was released. Um, when was it released? I think it was released yesterday. It's just explaining why they think um, Bitcoin went uh, came up spiked up uh, on Friday which is yesterday so I said Bitcoin price is now at over 9,000 per Bitcoin after dropping to lows of almost 7,000 on Thursday many Bitcoin and cryptocurrency market and analysts point point to comments made by China's president Xi Jinping that the country should seize the opportunity of Bitcoin blockchain technology as a reason behind Bitcoin's sudden rally China banned Bitcoin and cryptocurrency exchanges in 2017 and some took Xi's blockchain comment as a sign the country could ease Bitcoin and cryptocurrency restrictions. So that spike was seems to have been down to Chinese president sounded like he had some sort of uh, change of heart with regards to Bitcoin and blockchain technology in general. So that's a big market that, that, that had been restricted access to blockchain technology. And as we know, there's quite low liquidity relative low liquidity as an asset class within the blockchain within the cryptocurrency space so allowing a whole a whole continent or well, no, a whole country that has such a large population um, more access to Bitcoin can only be a good thing and just off of the news alone it looks like price spiked after people heard that Xi Jinping was gonna um, be more lax on um, Bitcoin um, and other cryptocurrencies but as I said before, uh, news and sentiment is a good thing because it can give short-term spikes. But if nothing is actually gets implemented, in, implemented, then over the long term, uh, prices may end up just um, retracing back to where it was before. Because sentiment, sentiment can send um, 
prices of any asset class going one way but if especially up especially and if it's if nothing is actually realized then it will regress back to where it was before we saw that the other day with um with some of the Brexit Brexit deal information, I remember I um, made a video about that. When when the government announced that the Brexit deal could be going in the right direction, prices spiked of uh, most of the indices. And when they found out that there could be some barriers to actually making the Brexit deal happen, such as the DUP blocking it and Parliament blocking it, then the price in uh, all the all the gains that were made eventually dissipated and it went back down to where it was before. And I can see this happening here if in in an ample amount of time, no actual tangible changes have been steps have been made to actually enact some sort of leniency by the Chinese government to cryptocurrency. So this is good for short term, but gotta um, be careful because remember, news is people. People are emotional, and emotions because can a lot, a lot of time dictate um, dictate price changes. But that that could be a short term, so short term uh, gains that can be lost very quickly. So also, uh, in this article, they talk about how Facebook Libra um, had a um, uh, Mark Zuckerberg was in front of the U.S. senators. I don't think that's as relevant to be on this for this article. Um, sentiment in crypto market is very low right now, which is true. I believe so. Um, uh, and also, there's been a lot of low. Li there's quite low liquidity, which is what I was talking about before. Bitcoin volume has been been struggling recently. And this is a this is probably a major issue as well because if the volume in Bitcoin in the Bitcoin if the volume Bitcoin is low, that means um, there's a lot of small players can make can can have a big impact on the market. That's why a lot of people like trading forex because uh, even though there has been scandals with forex, pe people are um, a lot of big institutions are actually uh, uh, um, trading with each other with forex. And uh, anyway, let me let me not digress. What I'm saying is that. If the volume is low in Bitcoin, that means if so, if there's millionaires or multi-millionaires, I think you need quite a lot of money to shift the market. But if there's people, a lot of whales out there, so whales are uh, institutions or individuals that have such a large amount of capital within Bitcoin, they them buying or selling can actually shift the market, and that their power becomes stronger as liquidity dissipates. Because if there's slow liquidity, that means someone with a lot of money within Bitcoin has a stronger hold of the market and that's not good for the market because that means they can they can manipulate the market at, at, at a whim and you don't want so much power concentrated in, in such a few people because that was actually the whole idea behind Bitcoin it was about the democratizing um, um, democratizing money so that the governments will have control over interest rates and uh, over over the um, the strength of the of the currency and that, that's kind of counterintuitive if individuals can um, dictate the price of Bitcoin. But that's a whole nother story. Uh, yeah, so it says Bitcoin volume has been struggling and that's a big issue. So um, yeah, it says leaving the market especially vulnerable to so-called whales, placing large orders or liquidating short positions, which I think um, this is one of the major reasons why I haven't been trading Bitcoin, but I still do technical analysis on it because all your technical analysis can go out the window if a whale decides they want to inject a lot of capital into Bitcoin or take a lot out. So yeah, I thought I'd just give my little two cents on Bitcoin. I know I haven't done one of these videos in some time. But remember to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button and hit that alert button to get alerts on all my latest videos. This is Eni aka Not Trader signing out.